The origins of the project came from my friendship with Kate. Um, I used to drive her home and notice how the community used to use the streets uh, for recreation or for playing in when there's all this land surrounding the community. So I started off with an idea about turning the, the space, the new space, into some kind of community recreation area. And um, it was while having a drink with Hannah that I found out about the Your Street competition. And that's when the designers came on board. So in, in essence what the project is going to involve is providing a six-a-side football field um, to the local community um, and what we require is a barrier between the um, football field and the road for safety issues so this is going to become a sort of seating system a bit like um, seating you might find in the dugouts and stadiums and the very interesting thing about this is that the structure we created using a recycled bottle technique um, which involves recycling uh, used plastic bottles and it's very cheap, very durable, and obviously it uses recycled materials and a lot of local labor. Um, so we hope to provide some short-term economic benefits to local unemployed um, people here as well. Yeah, and as you can see, there's a lot of rubble and stuff like this, and this part of the project as well, is if we want to use a lot of the stuff that's in the area. So part of the idea is to take a lot of the rubbish and stuff in the area and use it as a filler for our actual stadium building. So the bottles will be used around the edges. It's a clever way of taking the stuff in the area and just putting it away basically and then sealing it off. Um, yeah, we kind of started off looking at the design um, from a very practical point of view and we started looking at um, activities that people already take part in in this area. For example, um, football, uh, dancing is a popular youth activity and we looked at sort of augmenting this um, and extending on this to make something that was a bigger solution. Looking at it, we've extended it uh, providing public seating as well as sort of a public community space. Meetings with the main community leaders have pretty much given us the idea that drug and alcohol abuse seems to be a real problem in our area, and I know for a fact that it is. And the main sergeant of the area pretty much said that he feels that if we manage to combat this drug and alcohol scourge, we could, of course, uh, lower the, the crime rate in the area, which betters the community as a whole. And so a lot of studies have shown that sport seems to have a really positive effect on community, lowering drug and alcohol use sort of crime issues as well and yeah Kensington is a pretty great place to live because I've lived here all my life and I felt like if we could use this sort of model in our community we could really show effectively how the Western Cape as a whole could probably improve if we included sports and the arts and sort of dance and graffiti and those sort of aspects of community life. Uh, and then once again we're going to now have a look and maybe there's extra stuff that we can build onto it extend the actual structure. I think the dance floor sits just next to the, the football field on the side over there. Yeah, that's basically the space we're looking to work with. Then.